hello and welcome back this is madan today i'm going to create an application on how to recover soft deleted record from our application and this video is based on our previous video on how to delete how to soft delete record from our application and if you have not gone through that video then you can uh, go through that video from the playlist and uh, uh, continue on this video so this feature is also requested by one of my subscriber friend and uh, today i'm going to add feature on the same application that we created before uh, for soft delete and we are going to recover the deleted record from our database table so here is the source code that we create uh, that we uh, created for our soft delete application video and I'm going to make use of the same video here so at first we need to retrieve all the soft deleted record that means all the records whose uh, recce status is D so for that let's create uh, another controller here I'm going to create another controller here deleted record controller.cs and uh, I'm going to copy this name copy oops I'm going to, let's click on the rename and then copy so let's create a namespace of uh, namespace is project project project.controllers and let's create a class public class and name of the class will be the name of the controller and it inherits from the class controller controller and let's bring in the namespace for the controller and uh, let's create a constructor here and let's inject application db context because we are going to interact with the database application db context context and let's bring in the namespace for this as well and let's create a private field for this in this method we get all the deleted record that is the record whose uh, uh, status is a d from our database table so bar deleted records equal to context dot employees dot where x goes to x dot rec status equal to equal to d dot to list uh, let's bring in the namespace for this is system dot link and we are going to pass these deleted records to the view and uh, here in the employee index action this view is displaying the all the records from the employee whose status is a now we can make use of the same code for the for displaying the record of the employee whose rec status is d so let's do let's copy this code and then let's create uh, the folder here for this controller deleted record controller so new folder dd this should be outside the employee new folder dlt deleted record controller and inside this let's create a file called index.cshtml and here let's paste the code that displays the uh, list of the employee whenever we pass list of the employee to this view it displays that and uh, instead of this delete button let's say recover rcub recover and then click on recover and uh, now this link is calling the recover action of the deleted record controller so we need to create that action and uh, which uh, and we are passing the id of the record that we want to recover so let's copy this recover and uh, I'm gonna head over to this controller and create the another action public i action result recover and uh, this is getting the id from this view from the index view of delete record controller the id parameter so let's hop over to this and bring in the id 
now what we need to do is we need to update the uh, status rec status of this record to d so let's variable deleted record first fetch the record from the database table deleted record equal to context dot employees dot first or default and x goes to x dot id equal to equal to id this record is deleted and its status is d on the database so what we need to do is we need to do delete record dot rec status equal to a let's change it and then let's update context dot employees dot update and then let's pass the deleted record to it and then let's save it context dot save changes and we're going to make use of the async version so what we need to do is we need to do await and to do await we need async and wrap this with task we need to bring in the namespace proper namespaces and then finally let's return user to ternary dirct redirect to action name of index I'm going to restart the application since I have added new view file here so let's do control C and restart the application so now let's test our application and the URL is we have a deleted record controller and index action so let's navigate to that URL deleted deleted record and it's not working there might be some error so let's go try and check uh, so in the view i have uh, named the folder as deleted record controller and the controller word should not be here that's my mistake so let's rename and let's remove this controller since the name of the controller is deleted record so it should be deleted record now our application server is starting up let's try again deleted record and uh, we see the deleted record and if we click on the recover then we navigated back to the index action of the deleted record and if we go back to our employee controller then we should see two record so here let's delete this record with the first name ram let's delete this let's delete this as well so we have no employee record that means all the records have been deleted but those records uh, are deleted uh, by only changing their rec status to d that means they are not removed permanently from the database we are using soft delete feature now if i navigate to the deleted record controller then those are the deleted record now if i want to if we want to recover this record say then we can see that uh, we can verify that from the employee controller so this record has been recovered so soft delete is very useful feature we can recover the data whenever we want so in uh, our application we should design our application uh, in this way and this gives us a uh, great flexibility uh, if we want to get back the deleted data or the record in the future from our application as well so this is it for this video thanks for watching and if you think this video helped you in any way then please subscribe and share it to your friends uh, have a good day